Travel Dons. Welcome back to the Adventures of a Traveling Don. My name is Benjamin O, and today I am here in the beautiful city of Burbank, California. Now, today we are spotlighting a very special place, and it is called Story Tavern. Now, I know I've said that a few times, spotlighting a special place, uh, mainly because it's a place that I helped open, but I've been around and I have helped open quite a few joints uh, across the United States. But this, this is particularly special because this is the very, very first spot where I got out of corporate restaurants and I helped open up this spot. This was the very first place that I ever helped open up as a brand new joint. Uh, it is locally owned um, by Diane uh, Slot. Her last name might be Amelia now, I'm not sure. But uh, Diane and uh, her brother Brian uh, and her family um, are the ones that kind of opened this joint back up in 2012. I believe July 4th was actually the opening day of that year back in 2012. Um, now, it is called Story Tavern because it's named after a Mr. Story who used to own this place. Uh, as an old hardware store back in the early 20th century. Um, so they wanted to pay an homage to that. Uh, they've got a plaque for him and all that kind of stuff up at the front. It's a really, really cool spot though. It's right on the downtown district here in downtown Burbank. Uh, beautiful area, lit up really, really nicely. Uh, it has definitely expanded since I first started as well. It used to just be one room. Now they have two rooms, outdoor seating, uh, particularly because of COVID, and then of course a game room, which unfortunately is closed again due to COVID. Um, I'll probably do a follow-up video uh, once they open up our, their next door uh, new project that they got going on, when and I can come back and actually do the game room as well. But in the meantime, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, dig into some of the food, have some beer, and then kind of just showcase the place a little bit. Uh, uh, they have thankfully survived this whole COVID crisis so far, and I hope that they continue to do so. But in the meantime, uh, I'm waiting for my food and my beer. Once that shows up, we'll go ahead and dig in. Alrighty guys, keep following along. It's time to eat and drink. All right, so first beer up is the Reisdorf Kolsch. I've had this many, many a times when I was working here after shift. Uh, it's my personal favorite when it comes to the light beers here. Uh, Reisdorf Kolsch has just got a nice Christmas to, uh, I say Christmas, crispness to it. I get a little tongue tied sometimes. Mm -hmm. mm. Decent head to it, phenomenal. And oh, looks like the food has arrived. So let's get another quick sip of the beer and we'll dig into the food. All right, so I've got basically kind of like a setup of some, kind of like not full small bites, but uh, you know, I've got a uh, pretzel appetizer, a salad, and the mac and cheese. It's just kind of like an assortment of uh, all the things that you need in life, to be fair. Uh, we're gonna delve into first the salad real quick for you there. This is the arugula salad. Uh, this has got, mm, it's a ho um, house mustard vinaigrette dressing. Um, you got some uh, pickled raisins in there. You get a little bit of uh, candied walnuts. It's actually really refreshing, really nice. You got that bitterness of the arugula, and then you got the sweetness of the um, the raisins add to that. And that mustard vinaigrette um, they make in house is absolutely phenomenal. It's really, really good. Uh, so, yeah, there's a salad. Let me give you a little try of the pretzel here. I love these Bavarian pretzels. They've had this on the menu for, uh, honestly, since I worked here myself. Now, they have uh, beer cheese, uh, which is my personal favorite. Uh, it's a house recipe that they make in there for you. Uh, secret recipe, which uh, they won't give to me, unfortunately, because I was not a cook, so I don't know all the ingredients. Mmm. Yeah. That beer cheese is really, really good. You got a nice savoriness to it. Uh, you can definitely taste kind of like a little, little hoppy, or a little, little bit of hop just kind of mixed in with that cheese, a little saltiness. Definitely, definitely really, really good mustard there for you. Now, the third thing I have here is the mac and cheese. Now, they've been known for their mac and cheese, honestly, since I took um, uh, helped them open up. The burgers and the mac and cheese. And I've always been a big fan of the mac and cheese, personally. This one is a new one, though. This is, let me see real quick. 
It's, uh, it's got like a Cajun style braised pork that they rest on top um, with of course the classic mac and cheese and there's a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce mixed in with the cheese sauce as well. So it is, let's, I mean it looks phenomenal, it looks like when you get mac and cheese you want to see the gooiness, you want that you want that kind of like just stringy cheese. That's my personal favorite. That's that's what you know is like really good baked mac and cheese for you there. So let me give you a try. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is mac and cheese. Oh, I forgot to get a little pork, pulled pork on there. So we're gonna grab a little pork and we'll do one second bite for you there. So you can see when it has the pork on there with it. I'm just making a mess of myself. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh my god. Mm. That enhances the flavor so much. So much. There's a little almost like a tanginess. I'm wondering if that's in the sauce or just in the pulled pork itself. There's like a tangy back, kind of very acidic back bite to that as well, which is actually really nice. And of course, goes well with a beer. Yeah. All right, I've got my trio of delicious foods. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dig into this. Might have another beer afterwards, but uh, uh, this is kind of like the nice showcase of what they've got. Um, you'll be able to see, I'll show kind of like a uh, montage of just like a bunch of B-roll film uh, around uh, the joint. I know it's 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 not what it uh, will be when it's back at 100% and I don't have access to the game room. Uh, I definitely will come back. They have plans to actually turn the next door place, which used to be the back house for Volcano, uh, into a cidery. So I will be back definitely to Story Tavern to kind of, once they're fully open, to go into the game room, show you show you the back, back door bar, and then of course when they open that cidery. But uh, a great, great start out for this. Um, I'm so glad that Diane was able to get this place back up and running um, and that they are open. So if you are in Burbank on San Fernando Boulevard, hit them up, they're right there. Um, on San Fernando and I believe it's, uh, Ange uh, Angelino Street, yeah, Angelino Street. Um, so, but anyway, my old haunt. Uh, this is where the name Dawn kind of started. Um, this area. So we'll get into that story later. But definitely check out Story Tavern anytime you're in Burbank, California. Give my girl Diane a shout, and definitely come in and get some good mac and cheese, some pretzels, a little arugula salad, or just get that Story Burger and grab a nice beer or glass of wine. So, all right, Travel Dons, I'm going to sign off for the night, and we'll see you on the next adventure, okay? Keep traveling.